All right, this is the law of cosines. And once again, we start off with a non-right angle triangle. And I'm going to label this angle A, so that's going to be side A. This is going to be angle B, so this is going to be side B. And that's going to be angle C, and this is going to be side C. All right, and I'm splitting it once again. That's the height, and I'm going to label it height. And so I'm going to call this side X, and this is going to be, since this whole, this whole side is side B, this is what's left over is B take away X. Okay. So then we end up with two right angle triangles. I'm going to write down my Pythagorean theorem for each one. So we have c squared, that's the hypotenuse, is equal to um, x squared plus h squared, okay, the sum of the squares of the other two legs. And over here I'm going to say that a squared is equal to h squared plus b minus x, all squared. Okay, so this is the biggie. I'm going to, I have a binomial, I'm going to square it. So that's going to give me b squared minus 2bc plus x squared. Then, um, I notice that I have x squared plus h squared here. And here, if I, I have an x squared and I have an h squared, I'm just going to write them together, x squared plus h squared. I'm going to replace that with c squared. Okay, right here. Trust me, I am. And also, my 2bx. Now, I want to replace that x, because I'm going to replace this x. I want to get rid of this x. And I notice in this right angle triangle, I have the x, and I have a nice relationship with angle A, that angle A is the, the cos of angle A is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is going to be x over c, okay? So that x is going to be the same as c times cosine of A, all right? So I'm going to replace the x with c cosine of A, and I'm going to replace the x squared plus h squared with c squared, okay? So I end up with a squared is equal to c squared plus b squared minus 2 times b times c cos A instead of b times x, okay? Now, um, well, that's pretty much the equation. I'm just going to organize. I'm going to put the b first. So a squared is equal to, so we have a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c times cosine of a. All right, and that's the cosine law. All right, but notice it's a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. But I want to show you that we can get it in terms of b squared or in terms of c squared. Let me just show you. So if I take the same triangle and rotate it so that this is my angle A, that side A, this is angle B, that side B, this is angle C, and that side C, okay? And this is now going to be our height. Instead of calling it H2, I'm just going to call it height. It's a different height, remember. Okay, and this is going to be our X, a different X altogether. And so if this side is C, this has to be C minus X. So once again, we write down our, our Pythagorean theorem. So a squared is equal to h, x squared plus a, h squared. Over here, b squared is going to be equal to um, h squared plus c minus x all squared. We're going to square the binomial, giving us c squared minus 2cx plus x squared. Then I'm going to take my, uh, I'm going to realize that I have, look, x squared plus h squared again. So I'm just going to rewrite that, my x squared beside my h squared. And that's going to tell me that what I really have here is an a squared, okay? And then I'm going to figure out what my x looks like. So my x in terms of, you know, a, b, and c. So if I look at the x here, I get this nice right angle, triangle, and so I can say that the cosine of b is the x over a, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So cos of b is x over a, so x must be a times cos of b. So I'm going to replace the x with a cos of b. So we end up with b squared is equal to, and I replace my x squared plus h squared with a squared here. Okay, here's my c squared minus 2cx. I've replaced my x with a cos of b. Okay, so 2 instead of um, c times x. I've, I've kind of rewritten it here. Hold on. That's better. So I've replaced the x with a cos of b. Okay, so instead of writing 2cx, I'm writing 2 c a cos of b. Now I'm just going to reorganize this. I'm just going to put the a before the c, like that. So we have b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2 ac cosine of b. All right, so far we have the cosine law in terms of a, and then we have it in terms of b. Now we want to get it in terms of c. So once again, we're going to look at, we're going to rotate the triangle once again. And so this is our angle A, this is our side A, this is our angle B, and that's our side B. This is our angle C. Okay, so I'm going to draw a height here. Whoops, and this is our side C. I'm going to draw, uh, draw a height. This is going to be my... Hold on. Um, so I'm going to say if this is X from here to here, then this is going to be A minus X because this whole side is called A. Okay, so this side of this right angle triangle is X. 
and this side, this leg of this right angle triangle is a take away x. Okay, so we get our Pythagorean theorem uh, formulas again. So looking at this triangle, we have uh, b squared is equal to x squared plus h squared. Okay, over here we have c squared is equal to h squared plus a minus x squared. Okay, then we square the a minus x. So first term squared um, minus two times the first times the last plus the last term squared. Okay, minus because that's minus. All right, so we get h, c squared is equal to h squared plus a squared minus 2ax plus x squared. Okay, and we know that b squared is x squared plus h squared. Okay, here's my h squared, here's my x squared. I'm going to put those together. So c squared is equal to x squared plus h squared plus a squared minus 2ax. And because I have the x squared and the h squared together, I can just replace them with b squared. Okay, and also uh, with the x, I want to I want to replace the x with something. So I notice over here that the cosine of that should be cosine of c. All right, so we have the cosine of c is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is going to be x over b. And then to get the x alone, I'm going to cross multiply the b. So I have b times cosine of c is equal to x. All right, so now I can replace this x with b cos of c. Okay, and I can replace the x squared plus h squared with b squared. So I'm going to get c squared is equal to b squared plus a squared minus 2 a, and then the x is being replaced with b cos of c. Okay? Now I'm just going to reorganize it. I'm just going to put the a before the b, and that's it. So c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Take away 2ab cos of c. All right, so that gives us the three uh, versions of the cosine law, or the law of cosines. I just like to call it cos law, because... I'm hungry. All right, so that's it. A squared is equal to C squared, B squared plus C squared. So A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos of A. B squared is A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cos of B. And C squared is A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cos of C. You don't have to remember all three of them, OK? Now, you already know the first part of it, so a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared, very much like Pythagorean theorem. So use this one because this is identical. The first part is identical to Pythagorean theorem. And then minus 2ab, remember ab, so minus 2ab, cos of c, cos of the first thing. Okay, and that's the law of cosines. All right, and have a look at the examples, and there we go. Have a good day.